Okay, so what I got here is just a simple circuit here. Got three bulbs, simple connector it's for a headlight assembly and a Silverado. And let's just say for a moment that we're at a salvage yard and we want to check the integrity of this harness before we purchase it. So all we need is a small battery. You can actually use a 9 volt battery in all reality. Um, you could also use one of the 12 volt batteries uh, for the lanterns the, for camping. So I've taken our newly made test light here. My OTC test light that I put the banana jack on yesterday. Now this battery happens to have positive and negative road on it. So it doesn't really matter which way you do this. You can actually do it either way. And I'll show you that we can do it either way. So all I've got here is just a splitter. You don't really need this. Um, just trying to utilize some of the, the wires from my uh, AES Wave U Connect kit here. Let's see if I can change the angle of this light a little bit. So what I want to do is I've got the ground wire going through the splitter and into the ground circuit here. And so I just want to check the integrity of all three of these bulbs and connections. There's actually three circuits here. So there's not necessarily three bulbs, there's three circuits. So So what we're going to do is we've got a test light hooked up. So I'm just going to pick on the green one here. So we see that that one's got lights up the test light all the way through. This one doesn't. And this one does. So, um, real simply, uh, they're by the color, the wire color. So the yellow and the green circuit have integrity which is the outside or the bright filament on all three bulbs. The brown circuit does not have any integrity. So now we got to determine which, probably got a blown bulb, which of the three bulbs is blown, I don't know. But uh, So let's just, for sake of argument, let's just switch the circuit so we're going the other way. So we're adding power put my test light on the ground side. So let's say I didn't know which way was which. And I got all three of my bulbs here. The bulb lights on that one. Lights on that one. And it doesn't light on this one. So if I follow this one back, it goes to the brown circuit. So still the same result. It doesn't really matter which side of the battery you hooked up to as long as you got both sides connected. One side to the test light and one side to the circuit. Just a quick tip. Have a great day. Alright, so I kind of decided to take this another step further. So uh, I'm going to start going up this harness here. And we're just going to pull this bulb here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook power to this circuit. Slide up to the ground side here. Maybe. So now that I've got my circuit fired up, I should have. Ok, 
Okay, so there we go. My splitter's got power to it going up to the brown wire. Coming up the loop, we're to the first connection. I don't have any power. So we'll just for sake of argument. Well, I think I just found my problem. There we go. I just found my problem. Just like that. I'm sure if I strip that back, I had power there. So, there it is. It would have saved me from paying for that harness. This ha harness happens to be off from a uh, truck I got out in the driveway. So, uh, I took it off because we got a new headlight for it and it came with a harness. I was sitting around the garage a couple years. I was kind of surprised it was broken, but sure enough, there it is. Broken just like you never would have imagined. So, there again. If I was at salvage yard, now I know this isn't the harness to buy. I probably wouldn't have bought it just because it didn't pass the first test, but I was kind of curious if it was just a blown bulb or something. Have a good day.